All in favor? All opposed? Motion carried. All right, call timing. this meeting to order. <laughs> And if you'll join me with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Marsha, Denzik, did you have presentation on yes. October I'm, I'm going to make this very uh, simple. I'm Marsha Drenzik. Oh, I have to look in there. There's a microphone there, Marsha. So everyone can hear you. I'm Marsha Drenzik. I'm a resident of Waldeboro, and I'm here on behalf of um, representing the Oktoberfest Waldeboro Committee tonight. Um, we had beautiful weather on October 2nd, the day of our event, and a crowd of well over 400 people attended. Um, those folks came out and enjoyed great music, games, good food, beverages, and a day of great fellowship with their fellow citizens and had an opportunity to meet other people that came to visit. There were folks from out of town that saw signs and decided to come and see what Oktoberfest was all about. We had a great crowd and a great day. Um, the event again was successful and we are pleased to donate $1,000 to the Town of Waldeboro General Assistance Fund and $250 um, to the Historical Society, their planning group um, for the 250th anniversary. So thank you all very much. And Julie, can I, yeah, please give us Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you. Okay, we'll move right along then. We have no scheduled public hearings. So adjustments to the agenda, do we have any? Hearing none, we'll move on to citizen comments. Do we have any comments from the citizenry? Later. Huh? All right, with that, then we'll move on to select board comments. Robert? Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you go ahead, Ab? My, I'm my, my, Um, anyway, well, I uh, just like to say we had um, another 250th anniversary committee meeting last night right here at this table. I thought it was a, 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 a really good meeting. Things are starting to fall into place. It's getting exciting. Um, there are a lot of little things I noticed. Our fearless leader is John um, Logic. And he has a, just the, the nicest way of, how do I say that? He is very relaxed and keeps us on task all at the same time. Really has a very nice way about it and very, it makes it very comfortable and enjoyable meeting. Um, and lots of people are sharing ideas and participating and that's nice. So if any of you are interested in that, we meet uh, every two weeks. If you have any ideas, please be in touch. We also have a coin. I had one in my purse somewhere, but I'm not going to take the time to get it. The coins are available uh, and they're three inch. They're large, very large. And they have Conrad Heyer on the front. They're available at the library, at the um, real estate. Uh, Pooley, Pooley. Jessica, Jessica. Yeah, Jessica, Jessica Pooley down here and the by pharmacy. Moody's. And the pharmacy at, too. Uh, I Historic. Historical Society, um, John, well, that's closed right now, but, um, and Bill is our vice chair, Bill. Um, Bill Maxwell. Billy Maxwell, thank you. Sometimes words escape me. Me too. Uh, anyway, it's a, a nice committee. I'm really looking forward to it. It's next year, June 17th and 18th. It's gonna be a great big parade. So if you have a business or you're involved in a committee, uh, bring that up to your committee and uh, find something fun that you can add to the parade. Uh, I just wanted to mention that uh, on Thanksgiving Day, for anybody who might be alone, 
the uh, Total Victory Outreach is putting on a Thanksgiving meal. Uh, and that's going to be at the Safe Harbor Community Chapel on Mill Street. And all are welcome. And I want to thank them for doing that every year. Okay, Julie. Sorry, sorry Mr. Mr. Chairman. I just oh, I got my notes. Back. I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize. Um, there were three things I wanted to say, and they all have to do with the Transfer Station Committee and Solid Waste. Uh, the committee did meet last week, and we're kind of hoping that we can get back to a, a strict enforcement of the solid waste ordinance. Remember, we kind of relaxed that because of COVID, and uh, it's, the hope is that we can work ourselves into a, a stricter adherence to the recycling rates that we're uh, way behind on at the moment. I think our desired goal is to, is to recycle 30%. We're well under 20 um, we also would like to see the transfer station management committee resume meetings. Uh, I think it's been two years since the transfer station management committee met. Um, and then just a quick update on what's happening up in Hampton, where that recycling plant is that closed down when Fiberite had some financial issues and COVID hit, um, and we had some DEP issues. So. Uh, we are expected to close the sale of that plant on November 30th. Um, and that's subject to the receipt of another $150,000 deposit, which the investors are, have said they're going to, going to uh, give us, give the MRC, Municipal Review Committee, and the completion, obviously, of the documents that uh, would amend the Master, master Waste Supply Agreement and the Lease Agreement. The MRC owns the land on which the plant is built. Uh, and that's good because it gives the MRC leverage that it wouldn't otherwise have. So uh, the hope is that that'll be closed on November 30th. And we, we do have a plan B if that doesn't happen. So thank you. Okay. All right, Julie. I'll keep it brief. I just wanted to say uh, thank you to Pam Jameson, our town clerk, and her merry band of ballot uh, clerks um, for the election on November 8th. Um, having gone through a large election um, several times in my life, I thought she did an outstanding job with her ballot clerks. Um, we had uh, several of them that stayed all day um, and several of them who would not accept any payment and everything went very well. I thought we had people who came in periodically to check out how we were doing and I think we got uh, rave reviews. Um, so it worked great. Everything went off without a hitch. And I just wanted to thank Pam for all of her attention to detail and uh, everything she did that day to just make it a pleasure. That's it. Oh, okay. All right. I'll, is there a motion to approve the consent calendar? So moved. Second. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? <clears throat> If not, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carried. All right. New business, special town meeting results. So we have a couple of those. First, I'll give you the results, as you know, from the special town meeting that was held on November 8th for extending the due date for um, taxes to November, uh, from November 15th to November 30th. And that passed nine in favor and zero opposed. Um, and for um, the November 8th election, um, we had several questions on the ballot. The uh, updated agreement with the Town of Friendship for EMS services, uh, that was yes, uh, 2,208 to no, 279 uh, with 47 blanks. Article three was a new agreement with the town of Jefferson for EMS services, and that was approved. Yes, $2,224. I mean, $2,224. No, $262. Blanks, $48. Um, and then we had questions about um, how to use some of the Friendship Street School um, proceeds from the sale. Um, the engineering um, to be able to cap the cement portion of the Sylvania property for $15,000 was approved 1,738 to no 731 and blank 65. Um, 
question number, sub question number two, which was for the Elm Street culvert, that was approved 1,808 to no, 645 and 81 blanks. The third question was to spend $7,500 uh, to upgrade the Waldeboro signs. And that was 1,392 to no, 1,082 and 60 blanks. That was actually the closest vote of all of these. And sub question number four was for $20,000 to fight the woolly adelgid in our town forest. And that was 1,985 to, I believe that's 4,000, I mean, 482 and 56 blanks. Um, and then um, also with that, we had the um, results from the questionnaire on the back, which related, related to what we needed to do at Sylvania. So, Max, maybe you just want to give an overview of what seemed to be make people happy and what people were interested in overall. You don't even have to give the numbers, just the basic feelings. Uh, so for those who uh, just need a refresher, the survey was just saying, do you approve of the uh, proposed use? Do you Are you against it? Or are you neither for nor against? And uh, just a quick rundown, as Julie said, the top three in this order, uh, preserve for low impact recreation was the one that got the most favorable reviews. Second highest was for outdoor sports and the third highest was to have a gazebo or an open structure on the site. Um, and those last two were actually pretty close. And then for what people did not want at the Sylvania site, the number one thing that they didn't want to see was leasing out for storage. Uh, the second highest for not wanting it was uh, leasing out to a third party solar company. And then the third highest was um, leasing for electric storage. And it was actually pretty close because I think 11 votes less than that was leasing out for commercial. So a lot of people were seeing more recreation as the thing they want to see over at the Sylvania site and not really wanting to see it developed at all, or at least for commercial use. And then for the Hoffs' house, just south of the, um, the top use, the top items people wanted was to either sell the house where we would keep the rest of the uh, eight acres. The second highest was selling the whole lot. And then the third highest was leasing the house out to a nonprofit. What people did not want to see, number one was leasing it a lot, leasing the lot for commercial use. The second highest for disapproval was leasing the house, leasing just the house for commercial. And the third highest disapproval was selling the lot, interestingly. Um, but I do want to know with Hoffs' house, there were a lot more people who were saying they were neither for nor against a lot. So for example, demolishing the house was something that had a lot more people saying they were neither for nor against compared to everything else that was in that proposal. So we have to take a good look at uh, what should be done in the house. And I've already talked to Max Lewick from Maine DP about this. There's no issue with any of these items that were approved by the voters. And he'll get back to me a bit later on about um, if there's any additional thoughts. But for the capping of the site, he just wants to be sure that he is kept in the loop on the designs for that, just so that it can meet the covenant's uh, restrictions. All good? Are you anything else on our special time? Okay, did you want to talk about the uh, MRC ballot or do you want me to? Um, whichever you would prefer. Oh, go ahead. Um, we have to, as you know, we belong to the Municipal Review Committee. Um, every year we have to pick, um, they see, have an election to fill three positions for three year terms. Um, we can only vote for one individual. Um, and there are five candidates this year. I think you're going to know one. Um, Ella Bowman, town manager of the town of Oakland. Robert Butler, selectman, town of Waldeboro. Paul Scott, town manager, town of Hamden. Tony Smith, resident, town of Mount Desert Island. Eric Trewergy, selectman from the town of Surrey. Um, so we can only cast one vote for one individual. Could I please make a comment? Um, I urge the board to cast its one vote for Tony Smith. Tony's been with this project since the time that PERC came into existence. And PERC was a, 
a waste to energy facility that made electricity from garbage and it's it's old technology that's one of the reasons the the facility in hampton was built it's taking waste and making things out of it that can be sold i've lined up my votes i i think i'm fine but i think um tony who's who's the vice president of this organization comes from a smaller support base and i hope that we cast our vote in his favor so that we lend our support to his continuing um, his efforts to make this thing work. That's that's all I'll say. So, how many seats are there? Uh, there are a total of nine, and we're electing three. I think three, this right. year. So three. So three people would, hopefully me, hopefully Tony. I don't know who the other one would be. Probably a new person on the board. But that's 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 all I feel is appropriate for me to say. Well, I, obviously, it's up to you. <laughs> hey, is, is there a motion of uh, who we want to, as a board to select? I want to take the recommendation of Robert Butler. I'll make that recommendation. Yeah. I I would recommend that we vote for Tony Smith. I'll second it. Okay. Is there any discussion? If not, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor of Tony Smith? All opposed? Motion carried. As you know, at the last meeting, um, I, you hand, I handed out some revised personnel policies. I did not receive any comments back from anybody. Um, so I didn't know if you had any tonight or if we were good to go and you would move to adopt adopt this um just wanted to go over one thing um we do have to if you approve it tonight um we do have to um we'll put it out to all the employees and they'll have a period to comment um, and the major change, if you'd like me to go over them, if you'll recall, we talked about the health benefits. Um, um, we defined uh, per diem employees in this, um, we defined part-time, we updated the main earned leave act provisions. Um, we also addressed because we had changes in the EMS department, um, we had to come up with per diem and part-time definitions. And the health insurance, basically what we were doing was the waiver for the health insurance. We were increasing that to half the cost of the single coverage um, in the hopes that if people have coverage through their spouse, I, I believe our old number was you could get between twelve and eighteen hundred dollars. Um, if we increase that to half of the cost of single coverage, um, they get around five thousand dollars. And we thought that that might incentivize some people who have double coverage to forego um, the health coverage and take the waiver, and that would be the five the the payable for that waiver would be $5,000. So although we're increasing the waiver, we think more people are going to take advantage of that and we would uh, realize a, a bigger savings in the health insurance. And that seems to be something that a lot of communities are moving towards is increasing that to try to combat the cost of health insurance. Is there a motion to accept the personnel policy as presented? 
I, I'd make that motion. There's okay. a second. Is there any discussion on this? If not, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carried. All right, next we'll address the public works position adoption. This is the adoption of a job description that was put together by um, our public works director, um, finance director, and uh, deputy director of public works um, for the position of a diesel mechanic truck driver. We did not have that job description prior. Motion to accept that. I so move. Second. Second. Is there any discussion on this? I just point out that we've we've talked about this for about a month now. <clears throat> it's something that the department needs to have, and it's nice that uh, more than nice. I think it's a benefit not just to the department but to all the departments in town that we actually have the opportunity to hire a diesel mechanic and somebody who will do other things as well. Uh, not just uh, working on engines, but doing a lot of the other things the guys in the in the department do. So I think this opens up lots of good opportunities for the town and makes us more efficient as we go forward. It should save us money. Okay, is there any other discussion? If not, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor? All opposed? Motion here. One abstention. Right. Then we'll bring us up to the agenda items for the next meeting. Anybody have anything? I'd like Julie. to talk about the budget, setting the budget um, meeting schedule for next year. Well, for next year, that next year is almost here. Yes, it is. Okay, that's a good idea. Any other? We have, we, we were having uh, departments and committees come in and do reports. Do we have anyone? I was gonna have Karen Ann come in oh. um, just because as you can tell, oh, yeah. we've started. So um, we've started doing toys, boots and coats. Uh, today we handed out 127 Thanksgiving baskets to families in need in town. Um, and just to give you an idea, when I started in 2017, we, we used to hand out 36. So we are now almost over, a, and actually it was 127, plus we had 10 that were on standby because they had um, called too late for us to get the order into the church. Um, so we handed out 100 and essentially 37 baskets today. Um, and that's the number that we have for Christmas. And that's the start of the food we've begun to order to put into the baskets um, that we'll be handing out on December 22nd. So um, I think we should have Perinia because she can update you on all of our, those yep. efforts. Yep, great. No, we'll adjourn and then okay. we'll take some. All right. Okay, uh, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? If not, proceed to vote. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carried. You don't have to turn off that. We just need Daryl. Oh, uh, gentle, gentlemen and ladies, if you don't mind, um, we have some baskets that need homes that were left over, so I'm going to go make some calls and I will be back. Sit back, right? <laughs> <laughs> that too. I don't know.
I have it as Jan. I don't know. <laughs> At least that's what they did on the last minute. I'm the vice chair, but of the, of the select board. Do we usually have two positions? Yeah, you have a yeah, chair and a vice. Chair. What? No, what I of, mean is, does one assessors. person usually have? Well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I am. Oh, yeah. we're a team. All right, I'll call this uh, meeting of the Board of Assessors to order. Citizen uh, comments for anything not on the agenda? None? Is there a motion to approve the consent calendar? So moved. Second. Any, discuss uh, any discussion? See the vote. All in favor? Opposed? And I'll hand it over to Daryl. Those are the minutes. I will leave there. Is and we can either go with people present or just go down through the order i think we'll start with this all right yeah start with people present Topsail Farm, I don't think they're here. So, Charles Turner, so you got, they're probably coming at seven because I had said seven, but James and Linda O'Farrell. So, we're at number 23. As math, I promised you we didn't get to you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. And our latest. Fails for happy reading. This is James. Linda's Sandra. Did I say Linda? Yeah, you did. <laughs> did I get Linda out of there? I think it's okay to be a pseudo. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Sandra L. They are at 1154 Main Street. Built their home in 2018 after a fire. Their value last year was 270. This year it was 466, which is up $1,788. Um, we have a copy of a breakdown. I had it as a full dry basement and it is not. It's only three quarter. There's a 24 by 28 section that you cannot stand up in due to ledge, I believe. And so that would reduce it by $18,000 or $254. That should be on your agenda on the number 23. So did you say $254 or $252, Daryl? $252. Yeah, okay. Is that not what I have on there? Yeah, I've got $252, yeah. Okay. Welcome to. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm sorry if I speak. Mm -hmm. First off, I'd like to thank Daryl because when I when I first got the tax bill, I immediately called him, um, and he was very Johnny on the spot. Came right out. We had a good conversation. He helped me understand a little bit better 
about how they come to this decision to jack up my taxes over two thousand dollars a year that has been adjusted by two hundred something dollars i understand now but I, I still don't think that it's a fair assessment i i never thought i'd be sitting here trying to devalue my property but that's basically what i'm doing and and, and i think i have good cause they say this house is worth 400 and what, 430 435 435 it, I don't see $435,000. Number one, I've actually spoken to a realtor and he, based on where the house is, it's, it's, we live on Main Street, but we don't have sidewalks. We don't have street lights. Okay. I've washed houses, three houses in the last two months sell on Main Street. With, and I'm going to say they're a different style house, but they, they have a lot more square footage and they're beautiful homes. One of them was Ted Worcester's house. Uh, it was me with that house. Okay. That house only went for 300 and something. Okay. The house right next door to it, which is a beautiful home. Okay. It's bigger than mine, a lot bigger for square footage. And inside is like 10 times better with a two car garage, with an apartment over to the garage. That sold for three, I don't know exactly, but I'm thinking 370. Is that Charlie's house? Yes, yeah. Charlie's house. Okay. <clears throat> you look at any house on Main Street. I mean, I'm going back even when, when our house burned, we looked at buying, you know, our house rather than rebuilding to stay in Waldebro. It wasn't a house on Main Street that went over 270. Okay. Now I know things have changed. Okay. But I don't believe it's changed $400,000. Our original house was 3,500 square feet. Okay. It burned down. It, and it was a beautiful home. It had all mahogany. It was all slate floors. This place had two fireplaces. One of them was a wall fireplace, okay? The evaluation on that was only 300,000. Now I know that we've reevaluated since then, but when I built this house, I purposely built this house to retire to, okay? With the idea that I wanted to keep my taxes down. I built a one story, three bedroom ranch, okay? It's nothing fancy. It has, has hardwood floors, sheetrock walls, asphalt, shingles, and vinyl siding. You, you look at every house in, in Waldemar, a, a three bedroom ranch, okay? Most of them are under 250. They're going for like 220 to 250. Why is mine worth 437,000? It, it just seems unfair. And if you look at the neighborhood, although I have good neighbors that live across from me, they keep their properties nice. On one side of me, I have a person that it looks like the town dump out there. And it's right on the corner. You can't miss it, which I can't believe the town hasn't made anybody clean it up. On the other side of me, there's a dilapidated, dilapidated house that I think at one time squatters were living in it. And I don't think there's a junk car that hasn't been registered for two years or a boat that's rotten in the front there. And if that doesn't have an effect on my property, uh, and that hasn't changed in the last five years. I mean, so I, I just I just think that four hundred something thousand dollars is, is a pie in the sky. I'm not I my real estate agent told me that on a good day, if I wanted to sell it within they have this formula of selling within 40 days or 30 days. He says, if you put it on the market for 350, he goes, you'd probably get that. Wallaboro isn't in a position to be getting above market value. Nobody is, unless it's short property, and mine's not short property, they're not bidding over market value for these houses. And the proof of that is Bessie Worcester's house and Charlie's house. And the, uh, there was another house that just sold, which I was shocked. It was under 100, it was like 115,000. It was an older house that needed a lot of work, but still, it, the square footage is about the same. And I guess that's my argument. I, I just don't think, I think when they did the assessment, I think they were basing on pie in the sky. And the other thing is, it's based on fair market value now. Well, with COVID ending and the housing market dropping down, are you guys going to drop it every year as the, as the prices drop? I mean, that's a high number. I mean, there's no wiggle room in that number. And it's not worth that much money. So I don't mean to get loud, but. Um, so I, I did I, give him the list of the last um, current sales going on there. And that shows you the July sales to the June of 22, which was the, there's three studies down at the bottom. There's what I'd call the 19 to 20, 20 to 21, 
21 to 22. We had dropped down to 77% when you take your assessment and divide it by the sale price. Uh, no, that's 77 sales, sorry, it's 70%. Following the update, we came in at 97% on those sales. Um, I can't compare an 1880s Ted Worcester house to your 2018 home. It's a beautiful home. It's a big lot. 4,000, I, I think is bare minimum. It would sell a lot more than that. That's, that's just what I'm seeing. But that's where I'm at. The only other thing I'd like to make is that type of an increase in one year can cripple a family. I mean, I neighbors across the street, I was talking to her this morning, they're a young couple. They don't know what they're going to do. They, they, they don't know how they're going to be able to afford it because their taxes went up over $1,000. That's to a young couple on a, you know, with today's what's going on, it's on everybody. I don't mind paying my fair share, but I don't think I should have to pay more. I've never complained about increases with the taxes over the years. I've never complained because I've always thought that they were fair. They were reasonable. The increases were reasonable. What did go from there? 250 to 270 to 470 to 466. Yes. Um, I don't know that it makes a difference or not, but I actually built this house myself. Okay, with the help of my nephews and my brother, we didn't even hire a contractor to build it. Did you hire out? No, <laughs> I actually retired to do that. We're not taking land into consideration at this point, are we, Daryl? We haven't no, looked no, we at haven't touched just, the, just the building. How much square foot is this here? This has 1,924. All on one floor. Yes. Yes. <laughs> For 36 inch doors, so in case we need a wheelchair. <laughs> Planning ahead. So Daryl, you've done after the after the fire. Um, you did an assessment at that point, of course. It was totally it gone. It was totally gone. Yeah. So and then your next assessment Other was in 2020 and then in 2021 and again in 2022. Yeah. Um, and the jump, and it's that third assessment, and the between the third and fourth assessments that I asked, I guess I'm asking the question. 
in 2021, you would have marked it to market at that time and came in at 222. We were um, prior to the fire, it was at 301. Their taxes were 4,720. The next year, the building was gone other than the garage, so their taxes went down to 1,115. Right. Um, with the new house in place and prior to the homestead going up, but anyways, they paid on 239, a 43.49, so about $400 less than their original house. Same the next year. Next year it dropped down. Uh, we dropped the rate again. So it was 4,300. That was the 270 before taking off for both a homestead and a veterans. Right. Every year it's gone up a little. And I understand that. I, and, I, and I think that's a, I think the 270 assessment to me was a fair assessment. And I'm not saying that it shouldn't go up a little bit from the 270. I mean, I actually agree with you. But I, I, I just, the 400 something just seems like pie in the sky. Do um, you think you can build it for $200 a square foot? Oh, yeah. I, I, I'll tell you, it only out. cost me 170000 to build it. Right. And I'm I, just I curious, can show you that. Everything I've been, because during election stuff like that, everyone was talking about between 250 and 350 to build a new house now because of, of I'm just asking because at, and that, $200 a square foot would be 384000 okay, would be the value. That was, I built it. I, it, it. We did everything. Everything I, I car in the driveway. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and it didn't go over one, it didn't go over 175. Yeah. Uh, and I can show you the paper. I have no, every, no. every seat. No, I'm just uh, figuring out. And we that. didn't do anything spectacular. We, and we could have, we had the money. Huh? All right. But we didn't do it just for the reason was we were going to retire here in Waldegrill and I wanted to keep it to a place where I could afford to stay here. I didn't want to be like the old police chief and have to leave town because I couldn't afford to live here. You know, it's a, it's a nice area. Everybody likes it. But it's, it's I have property in Thorndike. OK, and I, when, I, when I get my tax bill from them and I compare it to my Waldegrill one, I understand the services are different and all that. But I'll tell you what I like about when I get my tax bill from there. It's either it's always. More or less, it, it always a jump. But they tell you, well, it went up this because we're going to do the roads. But the next year, it went back down because we didn't have to do the roads. I know it's different, but I, I never expected this kind of a jump. I mean, I would expect a jump, but not like this. And I and I understand that this new tax law is coming into effect, and it's got everybody all excited. But that does This is going to be what I'm going to have to pay. What did you figure at 250 a square foot average? Actually, his is valued the way it is right now. It's 242 a square foot. 242. A square foot. And I, I has figured out what $200 a square foot would cost to build it today. It would be 384800 It was much? 384800 at $200 a square foot. Okay. But the is it, is it they're going right right now, 195 a square foot. I don't know what it is. I I just every, read this morning. It, was, talked to it averages between one seventy five and one ninety five yeah. a square foot. Yeah. Because it, now, if you go back during COVID, job, during COVID, it was up to two fifty a square foot. Yeah. I know one of the builders I was talking to was complaining it was three fifty. Yeah. And that's why I was asking for square footage, which I think is outrageous myself. I, mean, I don't know if this if this picture, we don't even we don't even have fire hydrants in front of our house or on that stretch. <laughs> okay. And th this stuff all depreciates that property. So Daryl, this list you've given us um, or the or the, the sale values are given. Uh, this includes the land. Yes. Does it not? Yes. Okay. Just want to clarify that. Yeah. Yeah. So in your calculation and your analysis, did you massage these numbers a bit to allow for, because you haven't reassessed the land? No, just uh, put in the schedules and everybody got what came out basically. Okay. I just want to make sure we're comparing apples to apples yeah. and as difficult as that is. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a recommendation? My recommendation was to reduce it for the basement, which would be the $252. Uh, 
Um, the only other avenue, if you want a table for further inspection, um, I have it as a B grade home. If you or somebody wants to look and say this isn't B grade, it should be less, that's where it would change. What is B grade? Can you explain that to me? C is average. Um, newer construction is C plus 10, B, then you have A, double A on a. No, I, I, I think the B grade is a fair assessment. It's, it's not a low quality only. Um, it's not a C grade. I, I, I don't disagree with that. But you said the average house. Is 175 to 195 a square foot? Yes, that would be that's what I read this morning, right? And an average, 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 right? Right, but yours is a little better than average. You just said it, yeah. <laughs> it's no, a B well, grade, How okay? When I, when, when, when I say B grade to yeah. me, B grade meant I didn't, I used, um, I used two by sixes, yeah. I used windows and doors, okay? Yeah. I used asphalt singles, I didn't put on A grade siding right. no. a grade windows yep. Yep. a grade doors right so, i mean i but we didn't use you know yep. faulty materials yep. it has hardwood, hardwood floors yep. so. well i i'd suggest i would take daryl's suggestion that we table it let him go have a second look but i i do think we need to have an understanding that if, if it is determined that it's a b-grade home uh, then we ought to be using the B-grade calculation to determine the value. I don't see there's any point you're all going back and saying, well, I was wrong about the B-grade. I mean, it, it really isn't. You know, I, I don't know what, it, what another inspection would change. I mean, you've been to the house. I mean, I don't know. It's not really good. Nothing's really changed. I don't see what that's going to change anything other than waste his time. And I think his time is more valuable than that. Uh, Board has the final say, and and they can go and and inspect themselves. You know, they could do it. They could do an inspection and say, no, nope, we don't feel this house is worth the four hundred and forty-eight thousand that I have it assessed at. It's just an honor forty-eight four hundred and forty-eight thousand dollar home, and then they could lower it down. But if it's a four hundred and fifty thousand dollar home today, that's what it is. What's my appeal from here? So on here, you'll get a notice and the county commissioners will review it. And then again, they'll take a look at the data and make a determination. So there'd be a hearing about 10 o'clock over to the courthouse, takes half an hour. And then they may come out and look at it or they'll just, after deliberating, they don't give you a decision, but you'll get a decision. Can I ask a question? They evaluate the building, right? It's and the cellar you said, but yeah, I don't it, understand right? the square footage. I thought they only tax you on livable yeah. space. A cellar is not livable space. <laughs> well, we deduct if there's no cellar there, it's part of the construction cost, so it's what to replace the home. But no, you get taxed on sheds, you get taxed on everything, porches, decks. That's not so. If I refinished my cellar, my taxes wouldn't go up. If you refinish, we have it as an unfinished cellar. So in theory, if you put an in-law apartment down there, then your assessment would go up because you've added value to the cellar. So you're valuing what it costs to put the cellar in the ground. Now, if you put another money- That would be good it. information to add for I built the house. I, would, I wouldn't put a cellar on. I, I, so, really, it's ridiculous. It's, space, it's storage space. Yeah. So my question is this, is you do the building out buildings, you don't judge it by inside, right? So you you judge by footage. the seller, just the living square footage. Okay. A, a B grade, I just want to make sure I understand you. A B grade is a, is a regular stick built house. An A grade is something with real fancy stuff in it. A C grade, what I assume would be like a, like a double wide. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. I just want to make sure I, I got it right too. Actually, modulars, we got D's and double wides, we got. Um, below uh, that so but the stick built is c on up so i guess i'm not going to get my uh, abatement other than posh maybe i do want to say i appreciate your restraint because i know how frustrating this well, is. well I, I just want to know if you guys are going to come out next year when all the property values drop which they're going to and and <laughs> Things are gonna things are gonna go down. You're gonna reevaluate me then too, right? Once I just had another bidding war in Maldeboro 
last week on Castner Road, and it was asking four ninety five, and it went for thirty thousand more. I have not seen it drop, but you say it's going to drop. That's it's, good it's, news. It's going to drop. Well, it's not about whether the property value drops. It really matters what if the square footage thing drops. When lumber and stuff like that come down, it's going to drop. But and we it's put already the coming state down. bases it on what they pay for the property, and as long as people are still demanding a property anywhere to get a well, house. We're going to find out because I'm going to put my house on the market because I, I mean, I just can't afford to live here anymore. It's that simple. Yeah. I mean, these taxes are $6,000. That's $500 a month. Okay. If I had a mortgage, I couldn't afford it. Yeah. Okay. And you, you, there are people in this town I know that are making a lot less than I am. Okay. And they're going to have a lot harder time paying their taxes. I feel, I feel for it. Can you notify us? Certainly. Yes. I think this town really needs to look at what we can afford and what we want, because like I tell you right now, we are pricing people right out of it. It's, it's a tragedy, it really is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thanks very much. So is there a motion to accept Daryl's recommendation of reducing I, that? I take that motion. For a second. I'll withdraw my motion. I think we need to talk about it a little more. Okay. I guess my my concern is we have a guy here who's yeah. been in this business for like 30 years, longer than I am. 41. 41, thank you. <laughs> and my experience has been that I won't say you've never been wrong. No one's perfect, but you're pretty damn close to what perfect is. Um, and I take your point about them, and I take his point about the market. But we're not here to flip a coin to see when the market's gonna, where it's gonna go. We're here to make the call at, in, in today's world. And when that changes, then we go out and we have another look. That's what we do. So um, you've had that look. And I, yeah. you know. Now we don't have to go by with what the state says and stuff, correct? You said the board has this decision. You you have the decision. How are you gonna? value of property. What would a B grade house be roughly for a square footage or cost per square footage? Well, looking at this one right here, just the house, not the outbuildings, mm -hmm. we're at 382. Six seventy one. And if I divide that By the 1924, mm -hmm. it's 198.89, so $199 square foot. And which I come down to 200, which would have been 384. Yeah, yeah. Case house. Then you got to add to the garage land. Right. And you you haven't affected the value of the land at all. That has not changed. No. That hasn't changed at so all. You got it at 416, just the buildings. A uh, 418. We we're at 418 and we dropped to 400. We took 18,000. <coughs> so you've already so be another 16,800. Because of the fact that it hasn't got a full basement. Yes. Right. We went with $200 a square. Is that? $400,000 for the building, correct? Is that what you said? All buildings, yes. Basic so house is three sixty four nine twenty. Mm -hmm. We'll divide that by the nineteen twenty four. We're currently at one eighty nine six one ninety. For for the house for the house to square footage. It doesn't have full basement. Made that mistake over the years. Had it as well. Um, no, we're all, we're all human. That's just the house. I mean, that's the thing we don't appreciate is that he hasn't touched the land at this point. And I think that's smart because it's a it's a it's a it's a two factor issue here. And I I think you're kind of hedging your bets on this, and I think that's a smart thing to do. 
light film box is going to drop, but I see it. <laughs> It'd be nice. It would happen. I was talking to a realtor yesterday, and she was saying she's seen no letter at all. And the rates keep going up, and people are still in the market. a new home that doesn't need repairs like the other houses here on East Street Center. Sorry. I said I've not been in there, but I'd love to. Mm. Well, at 1924, does that include the garage? Square foot. No, no, that's just the house. The attached garage is 850 square feet. And then we got a shed of 320, a porch of 192, and a deck of 120. Those total 35,000 in outbuildings. Add it to the 364, it gives you the 400. What do you think it happened? Well, if you go, if you go one, 175, I just did, 175 a square foot for the house, comes, comes up to 336 for the house. And then the 35,000 on top of the buildings, plus, so I don't know what the buildings are. Comes out to 371.70 for the buildings and the outbuildings. So it's like 19, just look, just under 18.3, less than what Daryl has. And, did you and that's at 175 square foot. Yeah. And, it, and is that assuming a B or a C? That's, that's assuming a B grade, right? Well, that's where I don't know where the square footage is. If the 175 is a C grade or a B grade, that's why I was asking. Well, we'd come somewhere in between. We're at 190. So if you're at 175 divided by one, you want to be at about 183. You got to take 8% off. So you got to lower it to a. So is it drops it below a B grade? Yes. But it is a B grade. At the heart he's, of the he's agreed with that. It's, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's new. Yeah, it's it's what it is. Again, the one out on the Castle Road, new home, different location, five twenty-five. That's what it sold for last week. Yeah. If they put that on the market, they're not going to sell for 448 or it's going to go fast. And that was Castner Road. Yeah, that they got 525. Yeah. They were asking 450, went into a war. Give us your highest bid, and it was 525. Yeah. 180 a square foot, which could potentially bump it up to a B grade. 381. With the outbuildings. With the Just still only nineteen thousand less than what you less than nineteen thousand six eighty. So it's not that far off, but still. Sixty one 
dollars. Two fifty two. And that's a hundred and eighty dollars a square foot. Still not it's a little bit great, is it? I don't know what to do. Point of order. Question. Do we have to come up with a number tonight? You can table it. You can. That's what, that's what I recommend is let's hear what the people here have to say. We take good notes. And after everybody's gone, we uh, hash it out and come up with a recommendation to give the chair. Yeah, the, other, the other side of that though is they have a right to hear what we what we think well they can stay the whole time <laughs> you got to have a discussion about it yeah so, that's true that's yeah. true okay that makes sense i'm going to table set it aside for set now, aside for now. All right. yeah yeah that one's set aside yeah come back to yeah. it Charles, Darryl. you're number 22, come on up. <laughs> How are we doing? Doing fine. All right. They uh, thought the last one was tough. Wait till they look at this one. <laughs> right, it's not too bad. No. Oh, yeah. I remember the write up about I this house. I remember yeah. The, yeah. The, the story. Worked, worked hard. You did provide the write up. Right up. And we worked. Yep. No, I, I remember it. Harvested, uh, harvested a lot of the wood for the home off the uh, property. What numbers is there? 22. <clears throat> Actually, we still have a good wood lot. Stairs, huh? Just cut pieces, pieces of oak, oak from the property. So this was built in 2021 and got its first tax bill. Um, there's 52,000 on the land, 460 on the buildings for a total of 512,000. It's a B grade average. Um, got a barn, got some outbuildings. The only thing noted, he did not drill a well. I tried a cistern, but it was not enough. So he's gonna need to drill a well. So if we would reduce the land by uh, 4,000 for that, but by rereading the paper, it also talks about a fireplace and I hadn't put a fireplace in there. And that's a six thousand dollar act. So I wiped out your well with fireplace. Okay. <laughs> Gotta stay warm. Yeah, you do. Stand <laughs> if you do, and damn if you don't. I know. Gee. I also still have a lot of remediation work to go on the barn, which I saved. How does that? What does that barn date back to? Sure. I think it. I'm not clear, but 1900. Yeah. 1850, I have to wow. <laughs> guess is as good as mine. No, nobody's been able to really give me a date. Um, <clears throat> but it was in danger of collapsing, which is why the property sat on the market for years. Uh, Bob Bird's sign was tipped over in the grass, covered with weeds. <laughs> About that much interest in the property. But being a contractor, I saw the uh, I saw the potential for it. So. I stabilized the barn, but I still have quite a ways to go on that. You get that appraised at complete. So I have it um, to replace at 101, 8, 14, 102,000, and it depreciated at 62% down to 63,000. You're talking about the barn. That's the barn. Yep. And the rest is on the house. It's 
square footage of the house? Square footage on the base house is 1,071. And then there's a one story frame of just 136. This little guy, and then there's 416 with a one story. Mm -hmm. So that would give you 1600 change. Was that there just one story versus the one story with cathedral with the main house? Mm -hmm. Then you got those. You get that. I see. <clears throat> I didn't realize you had the strip of the Yes. It's roughly 196. Gotcha. I didn't realize you had the script for the Johnny's. So. Adding in the fireplace, it put it up to 200, which is like 200.36 per square foot. Mm -hmm. So his appeal is that it should be in the $300,000 range, not the 512 cut off the million all his labor well and and we also used a lot of reclaimed materials and repurposed materials so you know i didn't i didn't go to home depot for everything um, a lot of the a lot of the materials logs and wood especially came from the property it just seemed like a really steep tax bill especially when we weren't quite done with everything so uh, from purely market point of view, I'm just wondering, and I don't know the answer, um, whether that increases the appeal of the home, um, knowing that you did a lot of the work right there and that you, rec you reclaimed a lot of the materials that were incorporated into the house. I mean, that, mm -hmm. one can argue that it actually makes it worth more than, than, than less. And I, I don't, I'm not belittling the time and split equity you have in this thing. You obviously put a lot of effort in. Yeah. Thank you. Um, it's not for sale. Like forever home. So um, I've been in the area for a number of years and uh, decided on where I wanted to live. And I was very fortunate to be able to uh, do this project. But I, it took it took a lot of sweat equity. Yeah. So. Yep. I don't mind paying taxes. I just just seem like seven. What, what is it? Seven thousand. One sixty eight. It's a little high. And I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to <clears throat> pay for the well, but. I understand the neighbor built to about three three sixty something like that. I could be off. So does that sound about right? Yeah, and uh, that's not going to be cheap. Yeah, there's no more five thousand dollar wells anymore. Yeah, right. Exactly. I'm probably looking at a twenty five thousand dollar nugget. Nugget. Needless to say, I drive a pickup truck with about three hundred nineteen thousand miles on it now. I just keep that oil changed. Yeah. <laughs> so is it, is it a Ford? It's a Ford. It's a seven <laughs> truck. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. I'm relatively rust free still. Serves me well. Get a lot of questions. What year is your truck? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not, I'm not asking for anything huge, but I appreciate it if you guys could do something to take this thing out a little bit. Yes, We're currently okay. hauling water in that Ford from one of my neighbors. This is 216 Robinson Road. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Rob, I know what Robinson Road is. I'll just... Because we had a development there a few years ago. Yes, this was lot number one. Oh, this was oh, this is on. Um, so it was part of that development, yep. right? 
didn't sell for years. Is there anything you feel we might have missed on this? The only question uh, he mentioned, not done, we go by April 1st. I, I don't, I wasn't there April 1st. I don't know what's left to be done to make this 100%. You talked well, but. Well, we've got some flooring, some carpeting to do, some uh, bunch of gutter work to do. But the, the home is substantially completed. Yeah. <clears throat> what you feel is always around 300,000 is what it's worth. Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't, I honestly don't know. Yeah. I just see that's um, what you wrote. So I just have this right ask. But it's, 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 I haven't had it appraised or anything. Yep. I certainly didn't spend that much to build it. No, no, right. What did your insurance recommend? They usually say the cost of rebuilding is what they. I think I insurance. think that was that was a, a number in, in that range, the three hundred that my insurance is basing it on. Yeah, I know in my insurance cost. it tells me what the replacement cost is, yeah. which is. Usually I can probably find that is more than what usually it appraises at. Mm -hmm. Oh, mine is right. Mine correct. is significantly more. Yeah. They the couldn't replace cost? it. This oh, house can't be The replacement life. cost, for, according to my insurance no company, is not what you've done with this. There's no way it can be replaced. I think more than yeah. that. Yeah, it would be very hard to replicate. This I don't want to double. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with C grade. Yeah. That <laughs> Parker, right there, yeah. guys. Right on the slab. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Is the downside of having a really nice house, a really nice new house. Should we um, talk about this one later on as well? Or do you want to come to a decision now? I don't know what to do about it. Uh, it's not definitely not a C grade house. Oh. It's probably better than a B or a B. Yeah. It's one of a kind. It's a showcase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is lovely. So this is the one up, up in the field. Yes. Yeah, it is a nice house. Yeah, thank you. I, just, I studied Adirondack and Montana style architecture before I deployed the plan that integrated the house really well with the land. That was one of the goals. And uh, you, any of you are welcome to come up. Uh, I was just hoping my tax book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez, yeah. guys, I already worked yeah. hard. <laughs> Why does it call it a 2,500 square foot home? I thought you just said it. Well, that's not, that's simply oh. not accurate. Well, I wasn't considering anything upstairs, but it's cathedral, right? Yeah, the living room is cathedral. Does that go through the whole house or just the living room? No, just the, so I don't know. 
big factor. I don't know where they got that <laughs> number. Yeah, okay. Well, there's a staircase. So there must yeah. be something. It's a beautiful staircase. Yeah, that's true. With so the logs, it's just loft yeah. or something up there. Okay. Oak logs off the property, <laughs> hemlock, rebar, and gas pipe railing. Hmm. That is really, <laughs> that is really nice. Oh, well, it's pretty cool what nature can provide if you use mm. it creatively. Really nice. So. Stairway to heaven, that's all yeah. that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have a great deal of talent. Well, I really, really. well, thank you so much. So I really house appreciate that. You estimate at 354. That's just the house. So that's over two hundred dollars a square foot because at two hundred it'd be three twenty one, three three hundred twenty one thousand two hundred. <clears throat> Were you getting the three fifty four? Says yeah. base log home. Oh, right up to the top. Then you come down, you deduct for a basement and heat, add fireplace. You're at three thirty five, one eighty six. So you have to bring it. That was the base, but there's yep. no basement there. Yep. So we took that away. Yep. So 335. And that's on 1,071. Right here. If you want to steer on the yeah, the next page over because the fireplace wasn't in there. Oh, I get you. Okay. But you get two hundred, just over two hundred dollars a square foot. Come out to three twelve a square foot. Oh, maybe there's something wrong. Three three five. Oh, right, because I'm doing the sixteen hundred. Sorry. Yeah, so what is thousand. upstairs? Right. So if you do the base house, the yes. mm -hmm. right. I have a room upstairs. Oh. Yes. But it's mostly cathedral. So yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you heating with propane or wood? Pro propane and wood. And wood. Yeah, wood mm -hmm. stove. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's about as cost effective as it can get. Concrete floor. Radiant heat. Stained radiant heat. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. In the tubing. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's like anything. You turn it up, it's gonna it's gonna hurt your pocketbook more, but it's nice because you can maintain it. At least take the cold out of the out of mm -hmm. the concrete. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty too. It's stained and we scored it, you know, with uh saw and then we, we grouted the lines so nice. it looks like big pieces of tile wow. urethane it after. It's a, it's the finished floor. And slab on grade, of course. So it's it's uh, structural, um, but it does a really good job. So, and it was believe it or not, impressive, affordable. Yeah. It's better better way to go than a lot of other methods. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I enjoy being resident now of Waldeboro and. And I'm staying there. When was this? You must have had a, uh, an appraisal before this. No, it was just a. Just finished it. So you just finished it. Yeah. Right. The, just finished the, it. Yes. Before this was End just about 67,000 on buildings. Okay. He was not there last April. Okay. Started at 21 and finished April 22. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, I, I agree with you, but I don't know what to do about it. Because I know sweat equity really, if you went to sell it, you'd get your money back out of it. Mm -hmm. I know. I just built a building a couple of years ago. I only had forty-five thousand into it. It's a hundred thousand dollar building. Mm -hmm. You know, but I put a lot of work into it. Sure. You know, so that makes it tough. Certainly not complete without the well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
I think you've got that figured out, correct? Well, no, I had charged him for well, so you deduct four thousand for that. But I hadn't charged him for a fireplace. <laughs> That's a six thousand. Only four thousand for the well. Yes, we only had uh, twenty thousand for all improvements to the land, which would be your driveway, your foundation, or your slab, your well, your septic. Right now, we're only adding twenty thousand. Which is so you're being, if we rechange land values, that's where we would change it. Now. Yeah. Okay. So you're being generous at the moment in a negative well, kind of way. It's been that way for a while. But. Yeah. What are you saying? I'm out of luck tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only the chance. only way really to change is change grade, and you can go with right. C25 or you can go B. Uh, you know it. it the only way to lower these figures is to change grade. I can't yeah. see this being a C. No, wait, he's the love and devotion he's put into the house. Do we diminish his work? <laughs> that's, that's the question. Yeah. Do you want you us to diminish your work? You won't insult me. <laughs> Do you want us to diminish your work? <laughs> I can roll. I can. The, I can roll the with the punches. Uh -huh. I got. The, I can roll with the punches. <laughs> Do you want us to? Do you want us to diminish your work? Is, Agree with you 100%, but I don't know how to do it without I guess I diminishing your work. See, you know, it's, what is diminishing my work? <laughs> Making it from a yeah. B grade to a C grade. Okay. You're not a C kind of guy. You're not a C grade. It doesn't person. even come close. close. <laughs> yeah, I don't. That, that <laughs> makes me squirm. <laughs> See? That's why I finish it. So we're, we're just leaving that one, I guess. As is. You want to you want to vote on this one, or do you want to table it, discuss it later? And we can table it if you want. I to you guys. I think the gentleman knows where we have to go with this. I, much as I hate to say it, um, it just doesn't fit into that in you know, that other category. It's not that kind of house. Culture's house. Okay, so it's basically where we're going with this is um, the tax the tax bill will stand as it is. I is can't that, find a way. Of, I can't find a way of changing it unless Daryl has miscalculated something, and it doesn't sound to me like he has. And the barn? No. You've attached a sixty-seven thousand dollar value to the barn. Which, that's like C grade, isn't it? Um, it is that's, C grade. Yeah, I mean, the, the barn was ready to collapse. And I, <clears throat> I got in there, it's better, but it still needs a lot of work. Yep. Um, I haven't, I haven't, I've got, you know, that's a bunch of serious percent. details to do on the barn. It's not usable, I'm assuming. No, it's usable. Is it? it has a good, decent roof on it, and oh, it's okay. not in danger of collapsing. Yeah, because you fixed it. But I'm not done I'm by not. any means. Yeah. And I'm happy to happy to have a meeting on site and point all that out. <laughs> but you only get that there at 62%, correct? It's depreciated 62 so, yeah. Which actually seems seems high for what I have to do. So I maybe found, that's maybe that's an angle. Yeah, I'm you guys can help the, me out a little I'm bit. I'm confused by the depreciation number you you hit on here. That value is still so seems high for what it is. Correct. It's taken off. I mean, I got rotted floors. I got windows that are just shot. A bunch of them. I've got um, a whole bunch of siding to do. Which if you bought a bundle of cedar, even B grade shingles lately, it's like 150 bucks. Okay, I got that. Um, doors need to be rebuilt and done. So I think you're honestly, I think you're high on my barn. And you could maybe give me a break on that. I mean, seriously, that's I'm not exaggerating. No, I, I don't. I cleaned it up, it straightened it out. It still needs help. Well, 
I mean, you want to cut it in half? Where do you want to go with that? That would be 32 I versus wouldn't mind, 64. I wouldn't mind cutting it in half. I'll do that. That it's, seems it's not it's not a lot, but it's, it's something. It's, it's something. Right? Yeah. yeah, that seems reasonable. What, what like would it? I don't what, want to diminish what the work you've done. You've done incredible work. So, I mean, well, thank you very that much. That does have a price. <laughs> I appreciate that. Being good yeah. at what you do does have a price. Right. Absolutely. And you know, uh, listen, I had an open house, and mm -hmm. everybody. <laughs> oh, the funniest! I'll just tell you one quick little story. Uh, a woman was in my my master bathroom, poking around and oohing and ahhing. And I said, oh, I'm glad you like it, ma'am. She pops her head out of the bathroom, looks at it, she goes, I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> so it's a great know. story. Okay. What does that put it down to, Daryl? Well, I will run it through we'll the computer. It out. But, okay. uh, basically, should reduce it, looks like, from 63 to 32. So is that a few hundred bucks? That's like, oh, yeah, 420. What's that? 31,000 times 14. That nice round mill rate. Right? Is 434. So but again, it all rounds, so make sure it rounds. But in right. that neighborhood, 434. Yeah. Oh, it's a dent. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Thank so you. we got to make a motion to do that, correct? Yeah, I'd move we reduce it to uh, reduce it by $434. Second. I'm talking about uh, 2023 dash 22. So motion seconded. Any more discussion? All in favor? Thank you. We'll send it on to you. <coughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Nice, nice meeting it's all. And have a good evening. Computer right. may a change $14 one way or another. Appreciate your work. Yep. Over I say that even close. Yeah. Connect me. Is that right? Uh, Connect me. I can get the last name. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Number 26. Number 26. I noted there was no abatement request on this one. No, he just said increase too much. He can hopefully explain. He's uh, been a builder for years, now retired. Yes. Yeah. He started with a 24 by 28 garage from an apartment above it. Then he added a house, two story on slab. It's 34 by 32, 1,060. And then put a garage there as the latest in 2007. The total was 242 prior, and it's now 356. There's 23 acres of land. Explain what you wish. Well, have $684.60 difference. What I paid before. My thing is, uh, is no seller, just a slab. You know, uh, you explain me because everything go up. I basically still no understand why this go up. Why this goes so drastic up? Six hundred eighty four per one year. It's lots of money. You explain me why going so so much high. It actually went up seven hundred and twenty-eight dollars, I believe. Oh, seven hundred twenty-eight. Okay. <laughs> um, he paid. Yeah. Three thousand nine hundred six last year. It's now four thousand six thirty-four. Yeah. Um, mainly, the reason it's going up is the state looks at what has sold and what they have paid, and they give us a ratio. Those are the latest sales. Yes, um, but. If if you see this, like my 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 house is just a two bedroom, you know, two bedroom slab, no cellar, no cellar, very bad for sale because people like a cellar, two bedroom, nobody give me money, but you give me here this, you know, other things. I have some building for storage because I have 
I have truck, I living in woods, you know, I have truck and it's diesel, never start if it's cold, you know, I build this garage or how you call this, give it in, you know, start and I can plow this because I am 71 years old and my wife is 70 years old, she has cancer, you know, you must think about this, my retirement money is $1,000. Every every month, this is like I have explained everything. There is like a, like twelve twelve thousand per one year. She has just nine thousand six hundred. It's twenty one one hundred six twenty one thousand six hundred dollars. This mean if I thinking about this, you must think in people. We have person who is sick, you know, and this how much cost doctor, you know, and this insurance for all people is just a joke. I will like a talk with somebody like Biden or something. We have money for stupid war. We never have money for people who are working very hard for this country. You know, this, I am embarrassing for this. No, yours, no, yours far, definitely not. No, I just, uh, you told me explain. I try to explain, you know, how, I, how I'm feeling with this. You know, it's like, if I give some, some money a little bit up, yes, but you said, Oh, is your 728. 728 is drastic money, you know. 728 per, per, per one year, and this be next year be another 700 and another 700. And what is my choice? So, hang up my, myself because I will never have this money for this. I don't like a rubber bank or something. You must still think about this. I have just the money, but I have this. this. And make poker, how much costs food, how much costs everything. You last time gave me some paper, yes, but, but help me or something. I don't know. So, I still don't have answer, nothing, but I don't trust it so much with somebody help me because I'm living like 35 years in this country and I know this country very well, very well. <clears throat> and you know, it's like it's like this is my choice. You told me explain. I explain you how I Thank feeling you. this. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling like. I'm an old guy, you know, and 71 years old. I have I have surgery in my, my spine. I have surgery in my shoulder. I can nothing do so much, you know. I don't have some fancy house, fireplace or something. I don't have cellar, just a two-bedroom and this. And this drastic money go up. I feeling like 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 with somebody punish me. Like I be I be guilty or something, you know. I must explain you how how you feeling this, you know. This is all what I can what I can tell you. So, so, you. so you're getting the homestead, and I gave you the freeze, depending what they do with the legislation, this number would stay going forward. The other, if you file the income tax, or if you don't, you can get a credit if it's over 8% of your income. But those are the guidelines to try to help out mm -hmm. um, those that are limited in the state of Maine, as well as treating it regardless if it's you or somebody from away, we have to put the values the same. Um, it's a D grade home, it's below C, I understand it's the bare house, um, but that's where it came in. This is a Philbrook issue. He, what he asked is, you can apply for what is known as a poverty abatement. If you're unable to pay, they can review it under that and look at your income and look what we're asking you to pay. Part of the problem is there's a garage with a rental apartment. So you got some rental income there. It's not just there a single. From the rental. I, I assume well, a family member or something. It, yes, yes, family member, you know, is yes and no, pay me, no pay me. <laughs> Insurance, you know, how is this? <laughs> right. You know, it's, yeah. I don't have so much money. You yeah, know, like I be I be I be honest with you. I feel I can make like fire and go this out and I will have no have so much headache with this, you know. But it's building, you know. I'm no I'm no guy who to make fire or something. This is just just uh, how I explain you, you know, like this. But you know, I I don't believe somebody helped me with paper or something because this is if you ask somebody, oh, here is point one, and point one said, oh, it is another point. Oh, we can like it, but you know, bye bye. You know, this mean I am here just today. It's like 
make this drastic up a little down. You went up just over $100,000 on this. I was trying to look uh, what you had it before. I remember you said we it. had uh, 242. And this is a D, D as in Daniel, great house. Okay, so. Nothing's changed. Not that I'm aware of. It was, Nothing changed. Just a, it was a gated and I didn't call or try to get in. I just drove away, but nothing. Yeah. No, just to have you have this. Yes. Exactly, same thing. I, <coughs> excuse me. I don't have money for change, change something more of this. Mm -hmm. This is all my building is done. Dealing with yeah. your wife's cancer and all yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't have choice like this. Well, I have something. I believe I have chicken house. <laughs> you know, it is for all plywood, what I have like this. It's just uh, like, I don't know, eight by, by six. Yeah. You know. And I go like this in. <laughs> I have four chicken, you know, no, no big businessman, you know, just a couple eggs every day, you know, sometime if it's winter time, nothing. Yeah. But... Charge the overhand bill. <laughs> Picture does it well. <laughs> no, I just see. I said it said overhand. Yeah. Yes, I do charge for the forty overhand. unit. Forty units. What's yes. the rationale there? Well, there's no. It's not a two story there. It's just overhang, so it's charging for that space right there. Not for the whole space if you take it down to the ground. Correct. So you're giving them a break. Well, you're <clears throat> pricing what is there. Right. Okay. So I understand. So the, what you're considering units and square footage? I don't know where that all. No, I'm just curious. I think it adds up to yellow bill. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, that gives you the number down there you're looking at. And for, for tax purposes, it's about $96 a square foot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Which is cheap. It is. Well, Nothing like, fancy. No fireplace. He said. No, it's, no cellar. <laughs> Does the location in rural shoreland have an impact? Oh, it's in shoreland zone, huh? Yeah. Well, there's, there's the, uh, it's got to be the swamp out back, is what that would refer to. So what no, there's no added value. It's okay. Just, it's resource protection around the big wetland, if you look yep. at that. Yep. What that's referring to. That's way in the back. The marsh. Yeah, swamp. Back swamp. Back. Yeah. But it does have 23 acres. Five of it we're seeing is underwater, zero value. Right. Didn't change land. <laughs> I can't see anything that we can adjust here. I'm looking for it. I can't see it. Uh, 
So I think this is one we ought to take under advisement for more than just the reason that we've talked about tonight. He's done nothing. I just, uh, I just mixed it up. I'm sorry, Evan. I just, I don't know if he's done nothing. I don't know what to do about it. I have an idea, but. Oh, I know. Trust me, I know. Mine was mine wasn't done too pretty. <laughs> he keeps dropping the price on me. <laughs> yeah, I have to. Nobody will buy it. Yeah, it's down a hundred thousand under what you appraise it. You estimated that. Yes. Oh, I see it drop today. <laughs> I did get the time to work on it to get the money out of it. Yeah. Oh. It's hard this year, Nero. Much harder this year than, than it has been, I think, in other years. For us and for everybody. Mm. Nobody else is talking. So. I know. <laughs> we'll we'll give you their decision, and you're welcome to stay. But they're going to wait and do them at the end after they've they've heard. Probably is nothing. Where we're at? Yeah. Probably nothing happened. I think. We'll let you know. Okay. Thank you for coming down. Thanks. Hey, Jeff, you're up next. Which number is that, Jeff? Number 27. I got an easy one for you. Well, I, I wanted to, I was thinking about this and I was, I was saying to myself that uh, this is really uh, taxation with representation. You know, I was I, I was at home and I was I was trying to think of how I how I could frame this because, you know, this the system clearly is imperfect, and it needs you know it needs people with some judgment to to make the changes for people, and the the timing of this with uh, the recession that's coming, you know, fuel prices, housing went crazy in the last year, and when these were done, was. A little, you know, had to be done during a time when it was a little better. So um, I was I was at a friend's house. She she's got a a well maintained house with a barn on a couple of, on twenty three acres down on thirty two, and she was opening her mail and she just got her tax bill. And uh, so I you know it all they all came in the mail at the same time. So she got. She got hers and it was up about four hundred dollars. And I was going, oh, gee, you know, that's that's not a bad thing. Now that that's uh, that's something that most people could handle. And I went home, and I got mine, and uh, it was the 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 assessment went up to almost five hundred thousand dollars on my house. I bought the house four years ago. November 5th. So it's just four years now. And, uh, you know, I got it for $229,000. And that was the market value of it. You know, it's four years ago was the market value. And uh, I, um, and it was assessed at the time for, for 261. That was the assessment in the, you know, the end of 18. So, so I, I look at the assessment, it's, 494 now and uh you know i do some division and it's 232 percent increase in four years and i'm going this is something i have to i have to come and speak to daryl about <laughs> so uh so he i i went and i made myself uh at home with him a couple of times 
and he worked on on getting this reduced. And uh, I just wanted that. That's really the reason why I came was just to say that I was I appreciated what was what was being done, and he and is working with me because it's an old house, and um, there are major structural problems that I knew about when I bought it that probably I, you know it's not possible for me to fix. I mean, there's masonry that needs pointing up and chimneys that are probably not going to fall down while I'm living in it, but it, that kind of thing. It's not, it's not in the greater shape. And so when I went to him, I took, he told me that one of the reasons that they had gone up so high was that it was a 12 inch brick building and that there was a difference in the way they categorized it because of that. And so I, I, you know, I, I, it might, might even be thicker than that. I don't know exactly, but it's, that's, that's a, you know, that's a brick one way and a brick half the other way. No, it was 12 inches. And uh, I went looking for similar houses that were of the same vintage that uh, were made out of the same, the, the same, made the same way. And the only way I could compare them was what they what they sold for for square foot because of because their locations were different and but the age group there was a house a half a block away and then the school building that was just sold is they're within seven years the three the three properties and they were all built the same way and uh and so i i cal i took i removed the value of the land to get rid of that aspect of it because the the uh, the school building has a lot that's on on water and the and the other house that's on uh, pleasant street had a very small lot and i removed that and calculated the square footage of sale prices the other house that the other house that was on that was for sale sold three weeks after mine did and the woman who owned that, I looked at that house when I was looking at mine. The woman had spent 20 years renovating it. Is that Deb Blackford? That's right. Yeah. She spent all, I mean, I, 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 I couldn't believe it. I mean, I went into that basement and I, she said she did that herself and I couldn't believe it. It was, it was like beautiful. And uh, so anyway, so there was a, it was a smaller house, but it was, in tip top shape. And so I decided that the only way I could do this was to do kind of an average, an average of what the, what the prices were per square foot. And, uh, and, and then I did, I did another look. And the other look was to look at what the assessed values were today and to average the square footage of a brick building without the land for the assessed values today. And then I average those. So that takes into consideration what the values are today, what they were when they were assessed last. And, uh, and then all of, the, all of the variations that could happen because of location. Her house is on a nice quiet street. Mine is across from Storer's Lumber. You know, and I knew that when I got it because I, I was retiring and uh, I wanted to do some artwork and, you know, it was I, I had a space in his office that I could just play and fool around. And so that's that's why I got it. And it what didn't need to be asked. Beautiful for me. And the taxes were OK. And I'm on a fixed income like everybody else that's here. That they're talking about money. So so. Um, I averaged those two averages together. So it, it, it was kind of like a, so it took into consideration so many factors that I couldn't actually understand it in a sense, because these were old buildings, different locations, different um, states of, of condition. And, and then I just multiplied that times the square footage of my house. And it was, 306, 302.
and uh, and that's what I put down, you know, on on what I what I wrote to you. So, you know, I thought that was fair. I thought it was. It, it took some thinking to to wind up coming up with a number, and uh, and then Daryl and I talked some more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When you guys are done, can we just close the laptop and we'll take it off? But sorry. I had to let Max go home. It's okay. Will, sorry. Is, Will is coming back. Right? Yeah, Will's coming back. Okay. Here we go. He's back. So Daryl and I talked some more, and he listened to the condition issues that I was talking to him about, and he reduced it from 494. So, uh, yeah, yeah, where we're at, if you look at the last sheet, this is Dr. Flanagan's old place. And under WAN, we had an apartment and a site plan review as a commercial. So there was um, $7,000 taking those two things out. It's not used commercially anymore. Um, also, what he was talking about was the office is now a shed. That changed that number. And with a wet basement, minimal insulation that reduces the functional would take off 135,000 or 1890 in taxes. He was at 244, went to 494, which is more than double 250. His increase was 2624. But would recommend you take off the 1890, 1890 for those reasons. 1819 would be the abatement. Right. 1,890. Yeah, it's on your revised. Okay, got it. Yep. So for discussion purposes, I'd make that motion. Is there a second? No, sorry. Second, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any discussion? Getting ahead of myself, sorry. Are, are you comfortable with that? You know, it's uh, $700 more in taxes a year. You know the the last the last fellow that was talking about his income. You know I have the same the same issues, and uh, you know they 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 have on the news now. There are people that are winding up having to sell because they can't afford. And right. then and then we just had this election. Yep. And one of the big issues that, that was in the election on both sides was housing, mm -hmm. and housing for uh, you know for seniors and housing for young people who were trying to make it. And, uh, you know, the whole timing of this, uh, this increase is just, you know, the cards weren't coming down right for this increase. I mean, it just, it's just, it's causing a lot of, a lot of anxiety for a lot of people. But I, you know, sitting here and watching the way that you folks are dealing with this with sincerity, I, you know, $700 is going to hurt me, but I, you know, I can, I'll absorb it. I mean, it, I, I have just social security and savings and uh, every year, you know, every time there's a, there's a big bill like this, you know, you go like, well, that's taking it off at the end. So my plan was to get to 80, that at age 80, if I, if I, at age 80, I'm not going to be worried. Boy, <laughs> I'm going to take that and file it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. just, just if I could make it to 80. <clears throat> So anyway, so I'm I'm willing to accept what Daryl did. This is the vote. In favor. Oh. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. See, I'm very patient people waiting. Andrew and Sarah. This number is, just right there. This is 28. number twenty-eight, and they win the prize of the most paper. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, I suspect. Oh. I and also for familiar. the best handwriting. Andy Lester. Best handwriting. Yeah. Wow. This is Sarah Libby. From oh, my word, it is. That was <laughs> Nice to put a face to yeah. that voice. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say it. That face looks familiar. I wonder who that is. Oh. Teacher. Yeah. Student. Kindergarten. <laughs> Been a <Yeah>. while. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. What well, about that? Sarah Libby, huh? Yeah. Oh, yes. All grown up. <laughs> oh, Sarah Libby. You think, you know, you were the middle? I was middle the middle. You were the middle batch, yes. Yeah, I, I, only know, I only know the first one. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. when I know it. 
She might even been small. And then there were I don't know. I think I went from like that girls. tall to six feet. So. Which one's your? Oh yeah. Okay. Dwight's in Oh, I have this big. David and Sarah. Yeah. Oh, how about that? Illinois Road. Small. Mm -hmm. so yes, we're at the end that you don't so. have to deal with. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but John Daigle says we don't want that hill. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> yeah, we're all the way at the end. <clears throat> the ants would used to work for your father. He's afraid he's going to get that call again, just almost deciding if they want us to plow for him. Oh. He's like, oh, no. I haven't seen the pilot for quite a while. Oh, he's still up there. Yeah. Good job. Oh, really? Well, Cutting wood? Bought the place up to uh, up on top of the hill. That was good job. Wow, that was bad. Let's see. I mean, 88, yeah. 87, 88. 87, 88 yeah. Because they worked for Hoods, well, local farms at the time when they were over there. I started temporary for in 1996. It's just going to be a couple of weeks. That's going to fill in. Yep. Still working on that. Yep. <laughs> yep. Want me to go where I'm at, or you want to? Well, I figured if they. Yeah. Read. Well, that's going to take a while. <laughs> it could, but I, I think so I've kind of laid it out. So you did a lot of work on this. I have. Yeah. I've got a lot of time invested in it. I've learned a lot. And I I think I've yeah. <clears throat> you said five hundred and eighteen dollars a second? Yes. And that was well they were at 256 yep. and with the homestead kept waiting in there. And then it went to 457, so we went up 201,000. Um recommended go back to 420. They do recommend it. Yeah. Okay. They Bought the property in 03 with 3.3 acres. And then in 19, they paid 30,000 for the additional nine acres. And I made it one lot. When I did that, I had added road frontage in that um, the request. Sorry, Hero, you made it one lot. Was yep. it, but that it's still, fair it's still two lots? Still two. We, we don't have any intentions of keeping it. We, yeah. It's not going to be a one big, yeah. the other. I mean, if it's. If I have to put it in the company name, yes I can no. do that. No, you know, no, we can separate it. If it is considered one piece, if you own two pieces in the same name contiguous. So wow. for subdivision purposes, they have one piece of land. It could be in a hundred deeds, but as long as it touches. Is it a subdivision in fact? No. It's not. So but, but for for the subdivision law, a yep. parcel of land is all contiguous land. Okay. So that's generally why instead of sending eight bills for eight different deeds, I send one bill. And whenever anybody buys contiguous land, we make it one, but we can separate it back out. But that's where um, off the land recommending 15,000 come off because of that road frontage, if you will. If, if I had priced... Um, This is an this is on a wetland again. This goes down to the pond. It's oh, all it marsh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, and this is just the land. This is my understanding. Is right. This is just the land, Daryl. Right. Fifteen thousand would come off the land. It was a. $30,000 lot as being connected to the pond at 50%, 60,000 if you're down on the pond. Then we had 
six acres of road frontage at a 20,880. That would go back to 1.08, which is where you get the $15,000 difference there. As far as the house itself, um, I had it as a story and a half, all it, and then I had noted cathedral, mostly cathedral. There's one loft apparently with no division, no, no, no nothing. Right. So if we call it a one story with cathedral, same way with mm -hmm. Mr. He has a room up there, but mm -hmm. it really isn't. Um, and the shed was not built at the same time it was hauled in. She estimated a 1990 shed E grade. So with those three changes would take, or those two changes would take 22,000 off the buildings is where I got the $37,518. She can explain. And you still got 1848 square footage down here. It's 1232, where that 18, I don't know, it, it's got to add in all the canopy. I, I don't know how you're going to get 1848 because it's a one story 1232. It's got to be adding the porch, the deck. The porch, the deck would be the other 690. That's still not. Yeah, no, that's, that's, what it, that's the where 1848 would be. is what it, it, the 1848 would be the deck of 420 or a porch of 270 and 1232 in a house. Does that add to 1848? I don't know why that number is there really because it really 424, that's 1926. So that isn't how it is. I don't know where it came from. 1232 times 1.5. You're right. We got a lot of domestic in this. <laughs> That's where the 1848 <laughs> came from. Yes. So one story with cathedral. That's so that's still going at one and a half, the 1848 at 138.45. 1848 divided by 1232. If it's divided by 12, it's 1.5. 1. 1. Yes. So you're still calling it a story and a half. Well, it's not built into the base up here as a story and a half. That number is calling it a story and a half. And you have cubic story and a half, even though there's nothing there. There's no floor. There's no upstairs. But you have a cubic area, but it's cathedral. Um, can we change any of the other grading as far as like, because the my taxes have gone up. I mean, we haven't done anything to the house since we built it in 2002, 2003. Yes. And then you changed my grade from a C100 to a C110, which seems to have increased it. And the only thing I noticed when you added the two properties together, as I went from a neighborhood three rural dirt, which is what yes. it is, to now neighborhood eight residential pond. Yes. And I want to keep them separate and if yes. you know if it's if it's easier for the town i can put the other piece of property into my nope. business name it's that's not a not a problem but i just want to put it back you know the house and the three acres in the neighborhood that it was and the grade c100 as opposed to the grade c110 um but then the garage i don't it's not a two-car garage nope. it's just a one big it's a two-story garage yeah, it's a one one story it's just got one big door is it an eight foot garage? I mean, a regular it's a two 14, car garage is a 14 foot door. It's tall as so we could back the So camper that's a into two story door. garage, is what that is. So if it's tall, it's considered two story. If it's two it's stories not. in the air, then it's two stories versus a one story is a one story garage that a car goes in. Oh. For it to be a second story, don't you have to have a second set of windows above the first story? You don't have to have windows in your garage, but I mean, we can go look at the grade of the thing, but that is that is pricing out a two-story garage. Okay, so there aren't any windows on the gable end where the door is. 
you got a picture? Is that what you? Yeah. Oh. That's a two-story garage, garage with a lean-tos off either side. It's a fourteen-foot door. Yeah, there's no windows. No, in it anywhere. No. I mean, it looks like one story to me, but I I don't know the technical the technical. We could we could call it a story and a half. I mean, it, it's it's more than one story, but if. I mean, it's just tall, so we could. I don't see how you can use. Had a fifth wheel that, to be is able there to a way of using the area up above the door? It doesn't seem to me that there's any. Oh, you wouldn't space be able to there. open the well, door. Well, you could get the camper in there, so you need to have the height. Exactly. Yeah. But it's not. It's more than a one-story garage. A one-story garage is your typical like this garage here. that you park your car in, and you have nothing above it. It's just roof, and this that's much more than that. This is just roof with a, it's a taller door. Taller, but 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 you couldn't put anything up above because where the door opens, that's where the roof is. It's all open. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on this one, but um, I, and it's I just hear what you're saying. Siding. But, it's not you know it's not anything. And then the lean tos that the value is seventeen thousand one thirty on the lean tos that go off the side. Those are it's just metal roofing over strapping. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. anything dirt floor. It's not anything, you know, when the wind blows up, it's <laughs> I'm afraid they don't think that increase. The, doesn't that technically increase the footprint, though? Well, they're valued separately. They are. Yes. Oh, they're okay. the last one down there. That's we got 17,130 on each on per for both sides. So you divide that too. Yeah. The C plus 10. Homes built newer than 2000 um, generally received that 10%. It was earlier than that previous, but when I went back through and this one was gear graded just as a C100, so I changed that. Um, certainly can redo the garage and the canopies. But if it's been a C100 for 20 years, can we just leave it at C100 with the house? We haven't done anything to that. I, I mean, understand, it's but it's a 2002 built house. I would leave it as a C plus 10 with the other houses built in that era. It, I, I understand it didn't have that grade, but. Um, and we're on a road that the town doesn't maintain. That we is, maintain it. I understand, but the question is, what is this going to sell for if you were to put that on the market? And it's a beautiful location, beautiful place. It is a private road, I understand. But that is the price range it's going to sell at if you were to sell it. Now, you probably don't want to sell, I understand. You've put your equity into this. and you Right, we it built is. it. We built it right from the get-go. We cut the trees and everything. But I've got attached, I don't know if you all got copies of it, of all of the houses, local, you know, right close by that have the town's valuation, square footage-wise, and when they sold two pages like this. Yeah. It has the sold date, how much it sold for, and then it has the 2022, their new valuations of what they are and those are all c100 c110s they're cape cods just like mine roughly you know the square footage is is comparable to what i've got and the only issue i had with those i mean the first one's 1970 1994 1950 they are older homes and i included in with them Newer homes in the same grade, year 2000. And I know you have to look at those, but. Uh, I mean, I have some, I didn't put them in there because I thought I had to show ones that had sold recently, but homes that are right on my road that are, you know, within 10 years or so of being built. Valuations aren't anywhere near as high as mine. <laughs>
I will gladly go back and relook at the garage and the canopies and see if it's an E grade or and not two story and mm -hmm. come in with another figure at your next meeting. But above and beyond the thirty-seven thousand yes. you're talking. Yep. Yep. I appreciate you doing that. I move we table this pending Daryl's further investigation. Second. Any discussion? Seems reasonable. Also, about the going from a three uh, C100 to C, mm -hmm. C110, is it? I just, you know, I get questions about that. I mean, mm -hmm. nothing changed other than maybe state law. Is that what's changed it to make it that? No. The only thing I have all my two thousands to generally at the one ten, and that's where I drew my line. I mean, I had had stuff earlier in that at one ten. Basically, the FHA nineteen seventy is a C, so the newer homes took the extra ten percent after two thousand. But that was forty years ago, <laughs> and and it's like okay, now where do I draw the line? And I had drawn it at two thousand and newer. So that's why, and this one was a C. Well, it's just as nice as those other homes built in that era. So that's where I went with that. But I, I can give you both ways, and mm -hmm. yeah, you can, can you do it both ways. I sure will. Yep. We'll, we'll yep. look at that. Uh, I'd like to see it that way. Thank you. Yep. Just, just for yep. And if we can separate the properties out, yeah, because like I said, we can do that. Deeds and yeah. just for equity purposes, no problem. I we'll show it. Put one against something or whatever, and not not use my house for it. But right, and then the house would go back to the neighborhood three residential. Yes, yes. dirt road. Okay. And the other one, you get your mash to the pond. Oh. Uh, if you can walk on water, maybe. Winter uh, time only. You can. You can uh, no, I You've wouldn't even try it. Looked at that property before we. There's it. no actual road to it. They walked all the way down in that. Yeah. As I said, waterfront. Yeah, and when they get about mosquito season, they were not happy. Yeah, they had it listed. Yeah. Is it how do you get to the water? Is it to get wings? Yeah. <laughs> he had it mainly for hunting or, or whatever. Yeah. The guy that had that we bought it from, yeah. he yeah. kept it in a divorce yeah. settlement yeah. because yeah. sale purposes at the house and stuff. So. so there's a motion on, on yeah. the floor to table it. So and I hope to vote all in favor of tabling and of Daryl. First next time. <laughs> all right. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you for your patience. Nice Thank you for your, your patience. <laughs> you. yeah. Thank you. I want to go home. <laughs> I know you do. And my, sister, does too. my sister just got in from California. Start with number one. Guys, it will go fast. I'll do whatever I you guys you. want to do. I okay. promise you. You want to? Where? Where is number one? Take your agenda. Revise <laughs> the agenda. You want to do so, or do you want to table it for another so, night? So, oh, well, these are these are quick. A lot of them are quick. These are yeah. quick, quick. Yeah, those weren't. The we got the. Sections. We could have had all of these. Done. So the first sixteen are all personal property that's gone basically and then dale hahn had nine years of equipment and he passed away so, so my motion is to go with daryl on the first 16 to one through 16 deal okay. with it would deal with property write it off is that what you're saying yeah, yeah. Okay. oh okay gotcha what you're saying yeah there's the bobcats from not a whole lot and, of no anyway there yeah i'll second all right uh any discussion all in favor? We just did 16. All, All right. right. Good. 17 Topsail Farm did not file their Betty form. So their bill went from $31 to $1,331 because it wasn't exempt. And they've given you a long, long list of stuff. So I apologize the, profusely for coming in late. The new list removed five items that were gone, but added 20 items. <laughs> <laughs> it was no. And if they had filed, we would have got 
$31 from them, give or take, and $438 half back from the state. So if we abate the 469.70, it would be the same as if they had filed and we got the money from the state instead of them. I wouldn't want to go any lower than that. If you want to just deny and say file on time, they can pay the whole amount. Is that your recommendation? My recommendation is to give them a 469.70. It is. And then file next year on time. If they want to get it all off. Yeah. Well, they've done a lot for this town. Not that that has anything to do with this, but I don't think there's anything wrong with cutting people some slack when they. Well, Make you can mistakes. abate the whole thing if you want. They won't have to pay I, anything. I would just suggest we abate your recommendation. Yeah. That's, I guess that's my motion. I'll second it. All right. Any discussion? It'll give them some off. I don't have my paper, my new one, like that. Yeah, yeah. that was number 17. Yeah. Right? I know. I'll be hiding right in front of me. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Got it. All right. Uh, All in favor of that? Opposed? Next. Oh, it's here somewhere. So he says it's, it's number 18. He says it's been removed. Number 18, they removed a deck a year ago. So this is last yeah. year's $36 off the of deck. Yeah. Make that motion. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Jess Peasley bought a double wide up by uh, Atlantic Labs and thought he was going to move it to Lady Slipper Lane, but it was totally destroyed. And recommend we get rid of last year's $900 tax. Mm -hmm. So moved. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Wilfred Dever and Linda have a roof gone off in a greenhouse. $28 is the amount. So moved. Second. All in favor? Rhonda Conway. Um, Roddy passed away on an accident on Route 1, if you recall, back in 2016. He's married to Clint Collimore. Well, that's the issue. I, did you get my thing, Sarah? I did. They had a wedding, they took out a license but they never turned the license in. Is that right? So the license states that they both confirm they were not married. She would have lost all her veterans stuff. So that's, that explains. But oh, then there's another it. document if you go out and it says that she's from Miami, Florida and that she's married, but you can contact her in Diva Road, Waldeboro. Yeah. So the only way she's married is if she went to another state and got married. They did go down to Florida. They go every year. Yeah, they do. Do you want to give her the $84 as a widow saying she's never remarried? Or do you want me to try to get Miami, Florida to confirm? <laughs> I let sleeping dogs lie. Yeah, don't go by me. Is yeah. she wanted for a crime or something? <laughs> she wants you to retroactive back to 2016. We can't do that. We really no, can't. No, I think just one year. Yeah. That's your motion. Yeah, that's my motion. One year. Second. <laughs> it was a wedding, but it, they didn't get married. And you <laughs> could ask her about the wedding in Miami if she raises King about it. Interest. All in favor of that one. <laughs> Charles Tucker, we've taken care of on a barn. Yep. 50%. Do you have any pleasure on the O'Farrells? I mean, he. He makes a persuasive argument, but it's got nothing to do with what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, it, it, and you can't argue it's not a B. So it's no, like, you you're can't, trying you can't now, make that argument. Trying, but <laughs> nobody, yeah. nobody, no takers. She and we've no got no, we got told no barns. Me when they were building it, she said, um, This is my last house, and I'm getting what I want. I'm getting hardwood floors. I'm getting everything I want. <laughs> I'm trying to get people to degrade the houses that they won't. So, I mean, that's. Yeah. You know, I'm You're so and nice about it. It's a lovely doing location. It. Yeah. 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 it really is. It I, I just I don't see that there's anything we can do. Yeah. I mean, no, it's a nice you suggest yeah. you could go back, but he didn't want you to do that because he knows damn well it's a B grade they house. They showed me the basement. They didn't want to show me anything else. Right. <laughs> I'm never letting you in our house. <laughs> 
I have a dungeon instead of oh, a basement. Oh, and get in Bob's house as if I could bring oysters for That's you. right. <laughs> it's nice. He's got one of those showers that you walk right into. Well, you do you want to do the, take, Do we want to go with the 252 and let him go to the goal. county if he wishes to pursue it? <laughs> That's what I think we should do. But let's. What's that? Do, do we want to go with the 252 and then he can go to the county and just. Yeah, I think we ought to keep it the way Gerald has it. Yeah. The way he's, he's already reduced it. That's my view. I'll okay. make that motion okay. so we can talk about it. But second on that one. I'll second it. Okay. And discussion. I think that's the best course of action that mm -hmm. stay consistent. So. Yep. I hate to see him move. Yeah. Really would. I don't think they will. I, I hope you're right. But so. if they do, they probably have a lot of money from the sale of their house. <laughs> so all in favor of that. <laughs> okay. Number 24. Number 24. This is Jeff Hearn. Oh, oh, this is Jeff. Is he, aggressive? he bought, he bought um, Doc Bowen's That's house. Okay. And he paid 127. It was assessed for 153 and it went to 239. It says assessed value is different from appraised value. I'm not sure what he means there. He feels it's worth 200. Go to the property, walk around, walk in. An 84% increase on a one unit building and disrepair seems aggressive. Going from 114 to 200 is a bit lofty, I think is the word. Yeah, there. he did. So I called him and said, we're going to meet tonight. Um, there is a difference between office and store. If it was a store, we'd be down in his range. He called back and said he's in Portugal and has no plans for this building. He's just going to relax, take it easy. But prior to that call, I received a call from a lady that wants to buy it. It has it under contract, she says, for 285000 and wants to live there as a residence. And they were trying to figure out in a commercial zone, but we allow residences in a commercial zone. So we are up the value to 85. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want a table until he's present? You want to deny? What's your pleasure? You've got a 239. I think you're being generous given what, what we know. How can he come in and argue that it's I worth didn't less than that if he's selling it for 285? I confront him. He just said he was going to sit on it and relax. He That's, didn't know that the woman contract. had already called but he's you. He's going to the contract. He was. She claimed she had it for two eighty five, and they were trying to figure out that maybe he didn't know he had a buyer. I don't. Oh, in Portugal. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I just, I think you're being generous given what you know. So I, I'd move that we not do anything on this one. Sure, a second. All, right. All in favor? Nicholas Hansen is another brick house over on Pleasant Street. And the issues there was he took a bathroom out. I had a permit for a bathroom, so I added a bathroom. And, he actually, and he's got a wet basement, uh, minimal insulation, so recommend that we reduce that one, the 39005 46 he had gone up two thousand one hundred and seventy two dollars he's up there with jeff on brick houses mm -hmm. I, i'd go with your recommendation i'd make that motion some second i think that will, he would accept that too would he? 30 you say 34 or 39 34 39 there. i can't really quite 39 five forty two you're, you're basically acceding to his request. He wanted 59. I took yeah, well, that, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. Discussion? Hmm. All in favor? Any pleasure with Lobnar Connect Me? Isn't he cute? He's a gentleman. I like a nice guy. Yeah. I like him. And we're done with 27. Like him too. 
I didn't see anybody I didn't like tonight. They were all really nice people. Um, 28's done. 26, we haven't. You have so done 26? No. no. You were waiting, increased you were too much. Yeah, increased too much. <laughs> Wife's got cancer. Oh, oh sorry. And, and his relative doesn't that? pay. I, <laughs> I, I work on that. Where do you get that value? Huh? Yeah, I, I work on that part. That oh, three fifty. Would it be inappropate to ask Karen Ann to visit him? To visit him? Yeah, I do too. To, and to table this and, until she's had a visit. Sounds to me like I mean he. Did you say Karen Ann? I thought Karen Ann should go see them. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. I made yeah. a note of that. That sounds like. And then we table it until she comes back. Yep. Yeah. Figure out. I'll oh, second on. that. Yeah. All right. All in favor of that. We'll do. <clears throat> 27 we did yeah. we tabled 28 yeah. Christina Duffy is out on the Robinson Road she's got tons of pictures it's in poor shape 27,000 reduction yes. Robinson Road that's the same place yes, right is across that, from the new house the beautiful house Better. yes She's the one right across from it. That's right on close the, road. To the road. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, it's yeah. pretty rough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is. And you only reduced it by 27,000. Yeah. Should it be more? No. Okay. Yeah. Some of this stuff looks all too familiar, though. That's so we're moving your recommendation on 29. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. I'd I'll make the motion. That. I'll right. second that. Uh, all in favor. 30 was Eric Stark. He's got the 01879 farmhouse down on Dutch Neck. Um, recommend 39,000 off due to condition of that. Needs work. I'd make that motion. I'll second it. Discussion on that. In favor. Across the road is Kristen Sorderson, who was his wife. They've divorced. He gets this property. It's an old farm that they turned into a place, but um, recommend the reduction of 672. She's 70 years old. And Kristen Sorensen was his wife? Eric Stark. Oh, that's the place directly across the road that you oh. redid. Yeah. Rents out. Yep. So I recommend Daryl's suggested action on number 31. I'll second it. All in favor? And the Worcesters they bought for 386. And sorry, 32 and 31 are the same. We've, we've 30. 30, 31, and 32 are all Eric Stark. It is, yeah. yes. So we didn't vote on 32, to my knowledge. No, that's no, we're the one we're talking about. So we're talking about right now. This is Worcesters sorry. on Main Street. And Somebody Reimer bought it with him. Yes, and now it's it. now it's under the ownership of 927 Main Street, or whatever the number is. Um, there's, there's unfinished over the L part. They yeah. ripped it all out and then make it into an inn. Um, there's stairs to an attic, but no floor. Recommend 840 off there. 60,000 so, off the value. Yeah. Minus equal. Sorry, so he's suggesting a value of 386. Is that what he's? That's what they paid. And that shouldn't that be what you tax them for? No, we we are going to come in at um, 396, I think. So we're within 10% of the range. But you don't go with the exact price because it's all based on square footage. Uh, Okay, so we'll be at three ninety six instead of four fifty six. Okay, I'd make that motion. Second. In favor. So the last one is Elsie Studley and Ruth McElroy down on Friendship Road. Um, they live just opposite of Fintown, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Just said minimum of 500 off land, minimum of 500 off buildings. Um, they, they told you the minimum was? They went up $408 in tax. So oh, they're lucky. Off. 
They went up 408. And, and she'd like a reduction of a thousand. <laughs> wow. Well, could, mine went up 600 something. So what kind of a reduction would I get? 1200. <laughs> oh. Uh, so you're, you're recommending just As not no so, change. Uh, yeah. yeah. Denied. Yeah. So she sounds too happy. What's that? Maybe he's not going to be happy. No, no. But... Okay. She's gonna come after us. Yeah, I know it. So motion on that one. I wish mine only went up four hundred. Yeah. yeah. I'd I'd move no action on that one. Okay, I'll take okay. that. Motion's no action. Okay. Second. Yeah. All in favor of that. I believe you can adjourn. Okay. adjourn. And she said something about so shutting this yeah. down. Second. All in favor. Yeah, this was all being recorded. Yes. We are adjourned. Oh. Here's the center. Can you reach that? Yes. Sir.